Here we are. What are we doing? We're at the Key of Awesome headquarters here in New York City doing costumes for the Key of Awesome's Lady Gaga parody video. Yeah, yeah. We're doing all these looks right here. So right now I'm working on the sleeves for the wings look and it's just an old tutu that I cut in half and they're gonna be really awesome. And then we got these wings. Yeah, I definitely will. We had our cosplay connoisseur, Chrissy, make them. There's gonna be a video on showing you how to do just that as well. Oh, you look amazing. It looks so good. Yeah. What's up, Threadheads? This entire process took several hours over several days. A special thanks goes out to the wing pros, Paul and Richard, for their advice, of course. To begin, you're going to need these items. Bolt cutters, a drill, an appropriate bit size for that drill, screws, lock nuts, pliers, a handsaw, aluminum round rods, aluminum flat bars, aluminum pipe, a few pieces of pipe insulation foam, and of course, your trusty hot glue gun. Be sure to check the description below for the full list. We are building a drumline harness. You may have seen these in a marching band before. Bend it into shape based on your shoulders, down spine, and waist. You'll probably want an additional aluminum bar to practice your hand bending technique. Cut where necessary with your bolt cutters or handsaw. I'm using the bolt cutters here. Once you've got it into shape like you see here and lined up the way you want, mark with a sharpie or pen where you'll begin drilling your holes. I was able to use the holes in this patio table to act as a puncture space for both the rods and bars to help keep in place. After you've drilled your holes, you'll connect all your pieces and screw in your socket cap screw. You can tighten each lock nut in by using your pliers. You'll next use your bolt cutters to cut off the excess screws poking out from the back of the harness. I went ahead and lined up my foam padding first, glued and went from there. I used foam tubing similar if not the same as swimming pool straws, also known as noodles. Clever, right? No. This was a bad idea, so I ended up using a thicker, more flexible pipe insulation as you see here instead. This is where your Spray 90 comes in. It's an awesome adhesive, but test the spray range first. There's a dial on the top of the can that allows you to gauge the spray power. As you can see, I mostly use it on L for low. Now it's very important to know that this glue is extremely tacky and sticks to everything. Spray only where needed and be sure it's on a surface such as cardstock, for instance, so you don't make a mess. You'll want to let it dry several minutes on both sides to let it get tacky. Once it's tacky, combine your frame and foam. Next you'll grab your aluminum round rods and large pipe along with your actual large pool straw. Line up your rods on the inside of the foam and then cut accordingly with your handsaw. After some serious trial and error, I managed to configure the back of the harness with additional flat bars and screwed in the pipe securely. You may have similar issues, but that's all a part of learning. I even added additional cushion support on the exposed flat bars on the inside of the harness. Referencing back to my Lady Gaga images, I noticed the harness was black and originally designed to lift Gaga. We are not lifting anyone this time around, therefore we didn't need to add any straps. Instead, I bought black electrical tape and wrapped the entire harness up to clean up the rough edges, but give it an overall polished look. And bam, your harness is done. Now once you've bent your round rods in the shape, pull your foam straw through and grab the remainder of the first pipe insulation foam tubing and begin tapering the wings face outward to a narrower point. Tape around the shape to keep it in place, and voila! You've got the skeleton base of your wings. Next, grab your buckram. This material is essentially for milliners and hat making. However, it's so much more than that, and you'll see my techniques here. Buckram can be cut dry into pieces and hand sewn together. This is typically how I use it with my mini hat making skills. However, the other technique is wetting it. Notice how similar this technique is to plaster wrap. We are definitely doing plaster later. You'll want to cover completely each wing and allow them both to dry. The buckram will act as a better grip for when we begin the plastering, as unfortunately, plaster does not want to stick to that foam. 
Now that we have our individual wings wrapped with buckram, it's time to plaster. Fill a bowl of water and cut pieces out for which you'll wrap around as smoothly and evenly as possible. It's almost like wet clay. Make sure you get the consistency you need during your wrap. Once dry, take your sandpaper and buff each wing out gently. If you push too hard, you could puncture the wings. Once you've buffed and smoothed out, you can spray paint the first coat of your off-white on each wing. Next, you'll want to lay your barbecue sticks out. Yes, these barbecue skewers turned out to be perfect for this job. Spray paint them as well. Lay each wing out and begin assembling them in an abstract pattern similar to her design. Once you've configured each design, it may change by how each piece ends up sticking to one another. This is where your magical 3M industrial hot glue gun comes in. Now, you can use a normal hot glue gun, but be sure it's at a high temperature. I basically layered all my pieces with the glue and started at the widest base of each wing. The glory of using foam, buckram, and plaster combined is that you can basically puncture the barbecue sticks, sharp end first of course, into the foam pretty easily. I then reinforced the holes with more hot glue gun. After each wing is complete, set them back in each pipe of the harness and spray paint with the final coat of your off-white paint color. Follow it up several minutes later with the crystal clear spray. Lastly, pull each wing out and spray a thin coat of Spray 90 on the stem of each wing. This will give each wing some friction when you slide it back into the pipe of the harness so your wings don't flap. And there you have it, your very own Lady Gaga wings from Applause. And the best part? You now have a drumline harness for wings you can change up. If you do decide to create different wings than those created here, be sure to send us a picture. Snip, snip. Come on down low, low, low. There you go, there you go. Now fart. What? Now wave it away from yourself. <laughs> this is the sexiest swim team I've yeah. ever seen. Okay, yeah. I was like <laughs>